Hey, it's Mick, and it's time to take a look at my new and improved SuperPoll Squared spreadsheet. But first, let's take a look at the older version uh, so you can really see where the improvements come. Um, so I've been making a SuperPoll Squared spreadsheet for a number of years now. And over the years, I get um, requests from people who want to add more ways to play. Uh, so you can see when I open the sheet, it's gotten to be pretty messy. There's a lot of tabs down here. Um, so each way to play has a different tab. They all have different names. Some of them are similar. Some of them have managers. Some of them are just the, the grids. But there's there's a lot of ways to play this, but it's not super flexible. It's confusing. It looks pretty messy. So it's just getting kind of out of control. So I've had an idea of how to improve this uh, over the past couple of years. I just haven't had time to... Uh, work on it until now. So I'm going to show you my new and improved sheet. So let's close this. And here is the new sheet. So the first thing you'll notice is this is the only thing you see when you first open this spreadsheet. It's the setup tab. But one of my goals is to try to make this as clean, as nice looking as possible, while also allowing um, a lot of different ways to play. But then the, the premise is you've the user selects uh, the different options, how they want to play, and then they click a button and it automatically makes the, squ the squares the grid for them. So I'll just run you through how this works. The, the first thing is when you open the spreadsheet, you need to make sure that macros are enabled because uh, that's how this whole thing works. This is uh, macros. I have a bunch of formulas. Um, so you can see here, um, and I do include the instructions, but there's three ways to choose the names, how the names are entered in the sheet, and then there's three different um, scoring options. Uh, so you can see a little, a little preview over here. So the, this option is you'll use the same set of numbers for the entire game, all four quarters. Another option is you'll get different numbers for each quarter. And then the third option is different numbers for each half. Um, so I guess let me show you how this works quick. Let's say I just, I don't want to really use the spreadsheet. I just want to get a grid and print it off. And I'm going to have people write in their names by pencil. So I'm going to hit um, leave blank for easy printing. And then I'll just say I'm going to use the same numbers for all four corners. So then I go over here and say generate. So this grid will be left blank. Okay. Same random numbers will be used for all four corners. Okay. And now, boom, like that on the fly, it creates this, uh, your grid for you. Now, in the previous version of the sheet, um, I would wait until two weeks before the Super Bowl until I knew what the teams were, and then I would update the sheet and then release it then. So there are only, you know, two weeks to work on it before uh, the Super Bowl. Well, now I've changed it so. Actually, all the teams and all the helmets are in a hidden sheet within the spreadsheet. So you can use the same spreadsheet for every Super Bowl after this one. All you have to do is click on the name. You know, my Browns are probably going to lose this weekend. But see, you can choose the team and the helmet is updated automatically. That's one of the big improvements here. So now as you can see, we have our grid. So you could just print this off and use it. Or if you want to put the numbers in here, you just click randomize and it has the random numbers. So this is one way to play. Uh, so we can go back, we can hit reset. It'll reset it back to how it was. So let's say instead we want to um, manually choose uh, or actually, let's first let's do randomly assign uh, names, and we're going to say we want the numbers to rotate for each quarter. So I'm going to hit generate. Use the command button to assign names. Random numbers will be different for each quarter. Okay, boom. Now it makes the spreadsheet for us, so you can see the numbers are going to rotate. And now we have this button down here that will assign names to squares randomly. But first. Uh, we need to assign the player. So that's where now there's a manager tab. You go over here, start clicking in the names. 
players, and then for this one, you select how many squares each person wants. So let's say I want a couple here. And you, as you can see, these are dynamic drop-down lists. So as I select some, like right now, there's there's 54 squares left. Say I select 50, so now the last person only has the option to get four. So if you put the name and the number of squares in, then you can come over here and say assign names. Run this macro. It will automatically put the names in randomly. Um, this one, out of all the macros in the sheet, this is the one that takes the longest to run. And bam, bam, there it is. Uh, so now if we say randomize, it'll add the numbers in. So we start typing the score in. So zero. Here's the winner of the first one. Let's say 14, 7. Next, oh, the same one. It gives a lot of squares. All right, let's find uh, whatever. Or should be Sarah. Yep. So you can see it is the difference. The different numbers for each quarter in this version. So if you go back to the manager, then it says who won each quarter. So we saw David won three quarters, Sarah won one. Uh, and then we have the, the payout section. So then that's another improvement I've made to the sheet. Um, if you want to use this or not. So if you want to use this function, you leave you type in the, the cost per square. So some people will use this as you know um, to make bets for the office, or other people they use this actually to raise money for charity. So it's, if we're raising money for charity, maybe each square is a dollar buy-in. So a hundred squares that means we're going to donate a hundred dollars to charity, and then you can decide what the payout is for each quarter. So right now I have it evenly. So if we go over here, David won three quarters, so that's $75. Sarah won one quarter, that, uh, that's $25. Uh, so you can see here, since this person has, since I got uh, six squares, I owe $6. So that's where I, you, the manager can keep track of like, okay, I paid my $6, so I'm fully paid. So because I paid $6, I didn't win anything, so my end balance is minus six. So let's say Sarah paid forty dollars. She won twenty-five, so she's out minus fifteen. Fifty bucks. So you won three quarters, seventy-five dollars. So you came out ahead by twenty-five dollars. Um, so you just set that all up here, and that that'll work for all the games. Now I know some people don't want to do this. That's fine. So if you don't want any money related items, you change that to zero. So let's see if I reset this and I generate it again, and go back to the manager, it hides all the money related columns. So and then another game mode is to uh, choose the square. So let's say you don't want the squares to be randomly Let's say one person wants to like just have a block of squares here. Another one per person wants to have a block here. You would you do manually choose squares using drop downs. Change that back to a dollar, and then I'll change. You can change these to whatever you want, as long as it still adds up to one hundred. Let's say generate. And now um, you see this. I so I have it scoring by half. So there's only two rows for the numbers here. So again, you need to go to the manager and uh, make sure the names are typed in. So you can see on this one the number of squares. We haven't entered any names in the squares yet, so these are zero. So this is a formula. So we go over here, all the names are in the drop down. So you use the drop downs. So let's say I want a block here. 
let's say Jennifer wants this whole column. So if we go back over here, now it's starting, now it counts the number of cells that each person has selected. You can see the percent of the total. So these all have to be chosen by hand. And then again, hit randomize to get your numbers. Um, if you want, you can, if you want to start over, you clear the numbers, you can clear the names. Say, ah, I messed up. I actually want to do something different. Select them again, randomize. Once again, you put the score over here. Oh, zero should be zero five for David. Um, so yeah, that's um, all there is to it. It's much more uh, simple. So again, I have the instructions in the setup sheet. Any cell uh, colored yellow is user input. You know, show in where you can change. These, um, you just select one of these on each of these columns. Over in the manager, same thing. Yellow is user input, so you only have to put in the player names. And if you're going to do uh, pay per square, the amount that each person is actually paid, so you can keep track. And then you just put the score of the game in over here. And it's pretty easy. So, but yeah, even if you're not uh, into sports, there's a lot of things you can learn uh, about Excel, like how to do these um, linked uh, pictures. So you can see this was referring to a name, which is on a hidden sheet, which you can uh, check out and dissect. I'll try to figure that out. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, there's a lot of formulas here. And of course, you can uh, go through the macros, and there's um, a lot in the macros of how to just copy and paste, how to fill cell color colors, how to hide command buttons, how to generate random numbers, a lot of good stuff. So we can go to view, to view macros. Here's the macros here. The main code is this one called generator. This is where the magic happens. And then there's this is the reset one. And we also have randomized or generating the random numbers and so on. Again, a lot of stuff you can learn just by dissecting the spreadsheet. So I'm curious to know if uh, you think this is as big as an improvement for the Super Bowl square sheet as I think it is. So please let me know either in the comments or my email. If, uh, if, if you like this version, if you have any questions or suggestions, if you have different ways to play, different requests, that's hopefully a, another goal of this sheet is it should be easy to add hopefully new, new types of games instead of having a bunch of sheets along the bottom here. Uh, so yeah, I hope you like it. And uh, let me know if you do. And enjoy watching the Super Bowl. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe.